Are you preparing for Microsoft Azure AZ104 certification exam or maybe you have already scheduled the exam in coming days? In both the cases, this is very important video for you as Microsoft is bringing changes in the course content of AZ104 on 28th of July 2022. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In this video, I'm going to tell you all what you need to know about the changes coming up in AZ104 on 28th of July 2022. Very important video for this super important certification. So watch the video very carefully so that you don't miss any important detail. By the end of this video, you will be having Microsoft documentation explaining these changes and this will help you take an informed decision about your certification exam of AZ104. And friends, first I will brief you on the changes here in my slide and this will give you a base to understand the Microsoft official document in a better way. So let's get started. Now on your screen is the comparison of skill measured current versus new. On a high level, you might not notice the changes. So let me take you through this. So here you can see there are five major categories of skill measured. So let's read all of them and compare side by side. So here we can see in the current setup, the first one is manage Azure identities and governance, which is 15 to 20%. This is exactly same after the new changes as well. Secondly, we have implement and manage storage, which is again 15 to 20%, exactly the same in new setup as well. And then we come to the third one, which is deploy and manage Azure compute resources, which is 20 to 25% in the current setup, and also the same in the new setup as well. Coming to the fourth one, we have configure and manage virtual networking, which has 25 to 30% in the current setup. However, this percentage changes in the new setup and now it has 20 to 25 percentage. And then lastly, we have monitor and backup Azure resources, which is 10 to 15% in the current setup, exactly the same in the new setup as well. So majorly you can see there is a change in configure and manage virtual networking in old and new setup. And this was the high level comparison between skills measured. Now let me take you to the next slide and show you how to compare the changes in the content in more granular level. And post that I'm going to take you to the Microsoft documentation so that you can do the same comparison for the entire course content. So friends, here you can see I have compared implement and manage storage. On the surface level, both look the same in the last slide and the percentage is also same 15 to 20%. However, it is only when you compare the content on subcategory level, you come to know about the actual differences. Let me show you how. On the top level, you can see we have implement and manage storage, both sides, current and new. And now coming to the subcategory, the first subcategory in the current setup is secure storage. However, in the new setup, it is configure access to the storage. You can also read the sub granular level of each subcategory, both sides, current and new. And don't worry, you don't need to note all these changes because all is available in the Microsoft documentation that I'm going to show you in the next part of this video. For now, let's concentrate here. The second category in the current setup is managed storage. However, in the new setup, it will be managed storage in Azure storage account. And you can clearly note there are differences on the sub granular level as well between current versus the new setup. Now coming to the third subcategory, which is configured Azure files and Azure block storage. And here you can see though the subcategory is same, however, on sub granular level, there is a difference. For example, the second subcategory in the current setup is create and configure Azure file sync service. On the other hand, in the new setup, this subcategory is missing. So I hope now you have understood how to compare the changes in course content between both the major categories and subcategories. Now let me take you to the Microsoft documentation. So here we are on the Microsoft official document on exam AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator. And in case you are new to AZ104, the documentation of Microsoft says a candidate for this exam should have at least six months of hands-on experience administrating Azure along with a strong understanding of core Azure services, Azure workloads, security and governance. In addition, this role should have experience using PowerShell, Azure CLI, Azure Portal and Azure Resource Manager template. 
after this section if you will scroll a little more you can see there is a section which says important and here microsoft has clearly mentioned that the english language version of this exam will be updated on july 28th 2022 and to download the study guide you have to go to the tip box this is the tip box and if you will click on this second link which says download the az104 study guide click on this one and then you will reach to this pdf and in this pdf file you will find all the upcoming changes on 20th of july so let me take you through on top section of this pdf you will find all the details about microsoft az104 the purpose of this documentation is given then you can also read about certification renewal about the exam we have already discussed that in our previous videos as well in fact if you don't know i already have a question and answer series on az104 certification exam the details of which is coming up next in this video Besides the details on AZ104, you can also note the passing score is 700. And now if you will scroll down a little more, you will reach to a section which says skills measured. My dear friend, this is the existing setup and this exactly will be changed on 28th of July. The details of which is given in the subsequent pages in this PDF. Scrolling down, you can read the details of each category. Keep scrolling and then you will reach to a section which will give you details about changes that are coming on 28th of July. And this is that section which says detailed exam changes. And here Microsoft says that our exams are updated periodically to reflect skills that are required to perform a role. The following objective domain depicts the addition, deletion and modification to the exam. So here you can read in this table what are the different objectives and what are the changes that are coming for that respective objective. Microsoft has clearly laid out whether the changes are going to be major revision or whether it is going to be a minor revision. And just in the previous part of this video, I showed you the changes that are coming in secure storage, managed storage, configure Azure file and Azure blob storage. Now friends, if you want to compare all the changes of each section, then keep scrolling and then you will reach a section again called skills measure. And friends, please keep in mind that this is a new section which is just after the section detail exam changes. And here you can mark down all the categories and their percentage in the new setup. Scroll down a little more and here you can compare all the categories, subcategories and more granular level between old and new setup. So friends, as I compare the implement and manage storage, you can compare all the sections and find out all the differences between old and new course content. This is a very important document that you must read before you attempt AZ-104. Now let me share my opinion on whether you should take the existing exam or you should go for the new exam structure. So friends, if you are already through with the preparation and your exam is scheduled before or on 28th of July, then please go ahead. There is no reason to hold back. But in case you are in preparation phase or the exam is scheduled or you are planning to schedule it after 28th of July, then do consider these course content changes and make sure that you adjust your preparation to accommodate these changes. Friends, in case you or any one of your friends or family is preparing for certificates like AZ-900, DP-900, AI-900 or AZ-104, then we already have videos on each of these certification exams. Each video will take you through a series of questions with answers and will prepare you for the certification exam. And friends, with every question, you will learn Microsoft Azure concepts and I have provided Microsoft documentation that will not only help you verify the answer, but will also act as a study material. Cherry on the cake, you can get a free PDF file with all the questions and answers. How to get these PDF files? The details are available in the respective videos. And friends, we have started a new series on DP203, which is Microsoft certification for data engineer. The introduction part is already released yesterday on 25th of July. So in case you have not subscribed to the Tech Blackboard, then please do it right away so that you don't miss our super exciting series on Azure certification. And please appreciate our work by liking this video and do share our videos with your family and friends who are preparing for Azure certification. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning.
your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and i look forward for them we will meet again in our next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching